Hey there! In this video I want to show you how you can make a shadow um, based on a rig that you have in Toon Boom Harmony. So I'm gonna make a drop shadow that's just gonna like clone what's going on there. Clone's probably the wrong word to use but one issue is that I'm gonna want the feet to be able to have a shadow separate because otherwise they're going to be offset. So let's let's do a couple versions of this and I'll show you the difference here. Alright, so right now this is the composite. If I turn it off, you know, that's the whole character. Disable, enable. Um, and so what I can do is I can come out here under the main group. Again, I have another composite. I could turn it off or turn it on. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in... Uh, I pressed enter. This is in Harmony 20. I might as well show you how to do this in an older version of Harmony. Peg transformation. Apply peg transformation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag another cable out. Okay. So this image right here, if I were to show you the display, control Y, hook it up here um, and show you just that display. Okay. So coming out of this cable is the character. Okay, so the character's coming out here, the character's coming out here, going into this apply peg transformation. All right, and then I'm going to plug this in. So right now, I actually have two copies of the character. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a peg. I'm going to click on this, control P, add a peg. I'm going to use animate off. This will make it so that it, it changes things for the entire scene instead of just for the current keyframe. I'm going to press Alt 3 or get the rotate tool, bring this about here where I want it to mirror, and then I am going to choose my transform tool and flip vertically. Maybe I plug that into the wrong spot. There we go. I should name this something useful such as shadow peg. All right. So I am going to turn off the volume and go back to my timeline, scrub through here. So you see, I don't want that that foot, you know, crisscrossing down below. And so what I often do is instead of bringing out the entire rig, I'll bring out the rig and then the legs separately. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go full screen here, control F twice. So I've got the body coming in here, the arms, actually it looks like part of the body is here, and then I've got the legs. So what I want to do is I want to make another composite. So I'm going to grab this stuff. This is the face. This is the upper body, press control H, and it has added them to a composite. So if I were to go to the display right now, control Y to add a new display, I would see that that's all that I have coming through that composite. And I should probably name it. So it's um, upper body. Okay, so that's a little bit more clear. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go full screen, control F twice. I'm going to bring this down here to the bottom. And then I'm also going to bring each of the legs out individually because sometimes one leg will be offset from the other. I'm using my scroll wheel while I'm holding the mouse. All right. Get rid of that display, delete, get out of this group. And when I have multi-port outs, I'm going to hold Alt so I can drag this down here and then change the size. I like to label these ports just so I know what's going on. One, main. Two, upper body. Three, leg. Four, leg clone, probably. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to do this same thing, but instead of having the whole body being flipped, I'm just going to have the torso being flipped. Okay, and so I should probably call this something more useful. 
torso underscore shadow. And then I want to make um, a couple more of these. And I actually want to plug them in on the right. And You know, probably it's going to be better to add another composite. Control H, add a new composite. So I'll call this uh, map name pump. And then I will call this one map shadow. Okay, and all of the stuff that I'm going to do right now is going to come over here. All right, here we go. So I have the main in front, shadow behind. The stuff that we plug in on the right is going to go behind. Next up, let's put this over here. I'm just going to copy and paste this apply peg transformation. And move this stuff over. Copy, paste, control C, control V. Plug these in. Follow the same stuff that I had earlier. And I, pr I think I want to leave it not plugged into the map group because I think that, that goes up and down and I, I don't want that shadow to go up and down. Normally what I would do is I would add like another peg up above. Let's see, I've got a scene peg here. So I'll, I'll do best practice. Control P, slide this in, pressing Alt. Let me just call this one Matt with shadow. How about that? It's very clear now what I'm doing. I'm going to, maybe I'll copy and then I'll paste special. Right click, paste special, and I'm going to say create new column. So this will make a duplicate of that peg. It's not going to like clone it. It'll copy the same flip and stuff that's happening right now, but I'll be able to change it independently. So this one, let's just call this the leg shadow. Let me copy and paste that. Paste special again. We use the same properties I chose before in that dialog box. Okay, like shadow underscore clone. And then I want to bundle all these together just so I can keyframe them all quickly in the future. I'll just call this the shadow master peg. All right, and then I think I want to copy this pivot information from here to there. Copy paste. Okay. It looks like a mess, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so all of those pivots are the same. On this one, I actually want the leg like that. Then I'm going to press forward and backward a keyframe, forward and backward a frame. All right, jumps off, he lands. All right, so now I need to bring it down. Keep on going through. Oh, I guess I didn't bring it down far enough, did I? Okay. I want to bring it down to there, and then I can do some skew. Move it up. All right, cool. Now that should stay there planted on the ground. Oh, looks like that leg is going to not be connected to the body. I need to move this peg temp pivot temporarily. Stretch that up, maybe. I want this to be there. Okay, I'm going to go find this keyframe and move it back to here so it stays that way the whole time. All right, so now that leg is attached. I'm going to get rid of the tween, um, remove, put it on stop motion keyframes rather. Okay, so here at the beginning, I also need to adjust where this is. Bring it here. Maybe I'll scale it a little bit. Okay, get rid of the tween, stop motion keyframes. All right, need to keyframe it here, so it's doing the right thing. Okay, so now that I've got that working for me, 
I, I would go through and keyframe all the places where I need to match it on the ground. But uh, let's take care of the other leg now. Maybe I'll put this pivot position somewhere else just to make it easier on me. Alt 3. Put it on the corner of the shoe right there. Shift T. Get my transform tool. Bring this down. Maybe I will scale it, skew it. Okay, here we go. And I want to be working on stop motion keyframes. I don't like it when it tweens like this for me. And in Harmony 20, they actually added this uh, stop motion keyframe mode by default. Like if you click on that button, that's what it will do. All right. That looked fine to there. Now I need to change it. Let's just scoot it up, skew it, scoot it. You see, it's just adding a keyframe for me. It's not doing any weird tweening interpolation stuff. Okay, here I really need to address what's going on. Smash it down. Dang. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Some intense skew. And then it's good. Oh, except for when his leg comes off of his body. I'm going to reset it now. R. Oops. kind of still want the vertical flip. There we go. I'm going to get rid of, I'm up here in my coordinate toolbar, I'm going to get rid of my Y positioning. Dang, I thought that would fix it. Oh well, I'll just move it up. It's a little tricky when you're playing around with this stuff. Okay. Set these to stop motion. I'll stay there. All right. Play. Okay. So I've got my reflection working now. And I want it to be a shadow, though, right? And I want it to, to be underneath. Like, at some points, it looks like the character actually comes in front of the upper body. <laughs> Don't want that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go full screen here. And I'm going to say that instead of this being passed through, which allows Z-depth, stuff can go forward and backward, I say as bitmap. So it's going to flatten it all together. It should keep it all below now because it's to the right. All right. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want it to only show the shadow. I don't want it to show um, the color. So I'm going to add a color card. Let me see if this will work. In Harmony 20, you can just press Enter to get to the node library. You can always just go to the node library here. Got a color card. I'm going to choose like some shadow color. An awesome shadow color. That looks cool. Finally, I only want this color card to show up when this stuff is um, showing. So I'm going to press enter and add a cutter. So I'm going to say, I only want this to show up when my character is there. Okay, now that's the opposite of what I want, right? That's cutting things away, so I need to double click this mask. Alright, so it's only showing up where I want it to. Let me just uh, put some z-depth on this background. Alt up, 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 up. Oh, it must be really. Or maybe I put this as a bitmap also. Yeah, there we go. So now it's flattening the shadow and um, the character together in front of the grid. I'm going to press play. see that tween happening at the beginning. I don't want that. Um, center on selection, shift select everything. Uh, you can right click set stop motion keyframes. I set mine to E and shift E, but it's usually control L and control K. Nice. 
So you're just reusing um, what you already have and then using some applied peg transformations and then some pegs to uh, take care of the custom stuff that you need to do. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. See ya.